Welcome to the Dude Show Podcast, starring Patrick and Chris, with updates from our sexy bosom blessed news girl and commentary from producer Lewis. Clothing is optional for this broadcast, so grab yourself a whatever, sit back, and prepare to eat pie like you're on death row, you son of a bitch. And without further ado, let's fire this motherfucker up! Yes! Thank you all for being... What? Uh, what? Well, the crowd always cuts out early. They do. Didn't we used to have a queue where it would go longer? Really well, sucks we, we, the Yeah, we had, a, we, had a, we had a fancier intro, and then that person left, and then we had to go back to the old one. What, who? So, I don't know. <laughs> you don't remember, do you? I, no. Ah, good, I'm good. throwing a blank. So good to be here anyway, although we uh, lost our original theme song with the claps going, but uh, I'm still happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, uh, so everybody, we got a big group here tonight. Uh, Chris, how you doing, pal? I'm doing all right, Patty. How you doing, man? Good to see you, Good dear. Good to see you. Thank you, dear. Uh, Christine Ostrander, always bringing her A game. Uh, oh, lovely. How about on being on the mic? Thing? Yeah, how about how about that? <laughs> I was just she chilling like, back there. She likes to relax, man. She likes to yeah. relax. All right. Evidently, there's a uh, very relaxing... Uh, Air wafting about yes, the room. There, there, there I don't know if I would describe it as relaxed. Well, Chris, yeah. what's happening is people getting too comfortable. Yeah. Too comfortable in their position. You know what you got to do there? What? Shake things up. <laughs> and that's why we brought Kane in. That's right. Kane, yeah, how are you? Special guest. <laughs> I'm fantastic. <laughs> there's that crowd. That's, there's the crowd, baby. They've been Good. waiting for me. Good to see you. We got Lewis, producer Lewis here, too, uh, but he uh, he ain't on mic. Probably, yeah. probably for the better. No, he don't talk. He just nods and does crickets in the goddamn microphone. <laughs> uh, Mikey, good to see you back. Uh, we we had a period of time where you went on strike. Uh, I'm happy to see you sitting there behind the computer uh, taking your uh, fantasy football picks. A little early, two months away, football season. Already uh, really had you – really, how's it going? Good for you, Mikey. <laughs> Getting ready to make the big money. I am excited to be here. I have horrible days. As you know, Chris, I am a captain of industry. You are. Me. I am stressed out of my goddamn mind, and there's only two things. No, three things, actually, uh, that make me happy that I blow off a little steam. One, having sex with my girlfriend. My what? God, the meatloaf! Which she says ah. I do not do enough. <laughs> She's saying I do, not, I do not have sex with her enough. Uh, number two, beating off. That's, I that, that, that's, enjoy that. that's the problem with number one. Right there. <laughs> he does too much. Yes. That I do too much. Uh, number three, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, this podcast fits somewhere in there. Okay. Relaxes I think, me. I think boozing. Oh, yeah, drinking. Been, yeah, drinking. Boozing is number three. Yeah, yeah. You have to yeah, find yeah. The, uh, the balance, Patrick son. <sighs> well, um, lots to talk about. We are going to play a fun game called uh, Uppity Christine, Ooh, the wine challenge. I like that. Uh, Christine, uh, are you excited about that game? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Don't be up at it yet. And then we're going to have a segment of uh, uh, Dear Patty, kind of a spin on Dear Abby, because I like to help young women. Um, did uh, people what? people send in questions to uh, your uh, Hollywood uh, in fact, post office did. box? We, Excellent. Uh, we posted a thing like uh, ask, uh, ask Patty and the Dude Show Network to help you with your problems, and we are here to solve all your problems. Right That's what I love about these high school girls, man. <laughs> I get older. They stay the same age. Right next to the Craig li Craigslist hookers. Absolutely. Yes. And then we'll do some news and we'll have a good time. But okay. let's get started. Yeah, we're here. You know, uh, one of the things I really enjoy doing besides beating off and uh, drinking, well, actually, I, both those things, I love watching TV with my old lady. And uh, one thing I noticed is the mark of a keeper is when you have a girlfriend and she's talking uh, when you don't spend your time uh, counting down the seconds till she'll stop talking, when you don't do that, she's a keeper. I, and that's how I feel about my lady. <laughs> that's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire uh, life. That's insane. The other it, night, can well, I hear it again? It's like it's like you, you judge your girlfriends with like a reverb decay. She's if, if, if it like stops after like three seconds, you're like, okay, I can it's deal with that. Such a low okay, bar. Yeah. It's such no, a it's low. a high bar. She's talking, and I like it. Like I don't want her to shut up. I like what she has to say. Christine, you have no idea what I've dated. These broads, they <laughs> they keep their mouth keeps moving, and I'm just the whole time I'm counting. Chris, Christine, minutes. we've we've seen it. <laughs> yeah. So the other night, we're, we're, we're watching one of these goddamn dating reality shows, which I love. I love. And I, I love. I actually love. And uh, so um, my girlfriend, 
uh, tells me this dating story, this little, this little nugget of gold that I'd never heard before because I picked her brain before. I, I like to secretly beat off when she tells me all these crazy uh, stories that, <laughs> about things she's done with a guy. Like That kind of gets me off a little bit, right? <clears throat> this story was no exception. Uh, she told me the story where uh, she, when she was younger, uh, by younger, I mean like 10 years ago, she uh, went on this date with this guy who was like a muscle head. My chick's not in the muscle head. middle guys. school? <laughs> what would you went on a date I, 10 I years ago? Yeah, she was. She was like 12 or something. All right. She, yeah, um, uh, yeah. I am a, uh, Chris, how, how would you describe me? I am a thin man. You, you're in shape. You're svelte. What do you mean? You're uh, lean, dude. What am I? Yeah, you're lean. Okay. You're, you're wiry. You're yeah, a fucking uh, wiry Irish fuck. Right. I don't have oh. like uh, <laughs> muscles. You have like a, bo- a boxer body. Kane, do I have calves? Medium weight. I, I don't know. I've never seen you in shorts, bro. I, yeah. Well, my, I'm looking at you in the jeans, and I'm saying probably not sticks. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going with sticks. All right, sticks. But this dude was different from me. He was a muscular guy. My girlfriend's not into that. But I, he used to make jokes, which made her laugh. She likes uh, laughing, uh, and uh, she likes laughing a lot. Right. And uh, that's how what she said turns around is that's what turns around. Sense about of humor. Me. Yes, that, sense that, of humor. That, that, that big dating lie. <laughs> right. Right. Everybody's so like, this like guy's sense of humor. This guy would make jokes about his body, about how hey, I'm a bodybuilder, and she'd laugh. So he said, how about a date? She says, I'm in. Uh, when are you going to pick me up? He said, uh, dinner. I'll pick you up at six. Uh, where's your address? I'm going to pick you up. The dude uh, cruises on over, picks her up, and uh, they're on the way to the restaurant. This guy says, uh, this is her, the story she told me. Right. Uh, he goes, hey, I know we're going to the restaurant. I really want to have a great time with you. Uh, we're going to enjoy some uh, lobster medallions. <laughs> but before, let's stop at my place because I forgot my goddamn wallet. Oh. Uh, dough shucks, right? Oh. Yeah. Okay. The old what, what, you're lost saying, the oh, wallet what, trick. The old lost the wallet that trick? That doesn't sound right. Right. No. Who is she dating? Rat from Fast Times? <laughs> So Come they on, you gotta bring me my so, wallet. <laughs> uh, she is very naive, naive at this point. She goes back to this dude's place. Uh, it's an apartment. Uh, when they get there, he goes, "Hey, uh, sit down in the living room. Let me go find my wallet." <laughs> and uh, it's and, then he, and he goes, he pulls out a photo like, album yeah. to kill some time while he's looking for the wallet. He goes, "Hey, look through these pictures. There, are, there are a bunch of uh, uh, bodybuilding pictures." Now, right at this point, my girlfriend's saying, "Hey." I didn't realize he was a bodybuilder. I thought he was kidding about that stuff, and that's why I liked him. I thought he was a jokester. And and there's three. The, this book is like the size of a twelve. It's like twelve inches thick of pictures of this dude half naked with the the muscles and everything. And he sits down next to me. He goes, "Do you like this?" Oh my god. Oh. And then he says, "Hey, um, well, why don't you um, come into the bedroom with me? I'm gonna put the book away. I'm grabbing my wall. I want to show you a poster on the wall or something." She goes in there. What is it? And, and then he says, in. "To catch get a predator." Get this. Predator. Yeah. Then he why says, did "You go in." Chris Hansen was waiting in the he bedroom. Puts the, I think. <laughs> he puts the book away and he says, do, "What do you think about porn?" And she oh. goes, uh, I, I don't know. She's and like, I'm hungry. That's what I think about he Let's already, go to fucking dinner already. He, <laughs> Jesus. I think the she, lobster medallions. Exactly. Come on. I don't want to see your fucking, your fucking <laughs> pants medallions. I want some fucking, <laughs> some beef. Let's go. He puts, uh, he puts the TV on. Apparently, there was a DVD already <laughs> oh loaded. All loaded. It's and there's uh, two people Cue banging on, on the TV. And she goes, oh, uh, and then he whips out his cock oh my God. and proceeds to start pounding That's his like chubby. Great. Awesome. Oh, he's stroking. Just jerking it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sure. By the way, I what do you rate this date so far, Christine, on a scale of one to ten? Uh, a two? Negative. Three? Oh. Like the police need to be called. We're lucky yeah. she's still with us. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say she went on a second date with this guy. No. I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to say no. there was a second date. Well, uh, so he starts pounding his, his, his cack, and then he says, why don't you come over here? And then she said, I have to use the restroom. She goes out uh, to the living room. He's got a roommate, this son of a bitch. <laughs> of, course. of course. She says, what's the address? And then she calls a friend and, uh, with the address, and the friend shows up. Now, before the friend shows up, she went back in the room, and she blew the guy. No. No, I'm just kidding. How dare you? Yeah, no, I'm just terrible. kidding. No, no, I'm just kidding. There was uh, a second date. She though. went out and had to uh, sit on the uh, apartment stairs until her friend showed up. Now, I said, did you ever talk to the dude again? What, what happened with this guy? I said, no, nah, I never talked to him again. Now, that was quite a date, right? Yeah. No, I, no, no lobster medallions. <laughs> it, 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 no, yeah. no russet it, it, potatoes. It didn't end in food. Yeah, no food either. No. It ended yeah. in tears. Lobster. No bread basket. Yeah. Now, uh, hey, red. Now, this guy, uh, I have mixed feelings. 
I, I kind of like the... Uh, He's got game. I, Cut to the no, chase. No, no game. Uh, no game. <laughs> the balls on this son of a bitch to think that this would work. Uh, I, I kind of appreciate. But the, the fucked up thing is, if I ever have a daughter, I need him in prison right now. Because yeah. I'm very concerned for their safety. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy will fuck... Uh, no, I mean... Th- this, th- th- I don't think that was the first time that he's pulled that move, and I think he's had success in the past. Yeah, success. Where he's like, he's like he's lured you think? that he's lured oh, them I, in with I dinner, know it. I'm and then sure closed with the cock. Close with the yeah, cock. Yeah, there's no dinner. It's he's just, a, it's just he's cock. a cock closer. Hold yeah. on, my the, the my girlfriend's <laughs> here. Let me let me ask club. her. She saw the cock. Let me ask, <laughs> babe. Was how big was the cock? How big was the cock? It was medium size. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow! 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 Why? Um, I don't know. Why? Because Mikey's back, and that's what he does. It, it, now, I have a similar story to my girlfriend. You went out with a guy who promised you lobster medallions, and then jerked you off in your face. What you the did this. hell? Tell you the story. All right, what do you got? Okay, my parents, as you know, are horrible. They're, they're, that's what they we've were heard. the worst parents right, ever. Right. You know I talk about this often. Yes. My wow. my parents were horrible. They were actually what they were is they weren't there. So I, as a high school student, I worked at a seafood restaurant in Massachusetts. Oh. Now, uh, it's not like California. There are winters there. Yes. So this was December, and there is four feet of snow on the ground. I live two and a half miles from uh, my home right. in an apartment. And so I was the dishwasher. So when work would end at 1030, there were no rides home. I had no car. I couldn't afford that. So I would run home for two and a half miles through the snow right. and 20 degree weather. That's why up, you're svelte uphill, now. Uphill. Not uphill. <laughs> How dare you? I'm trying to tell a story for people to feel bad for me and hopefully uh, feel they can relate to me because I, my story is sad. And there you go, making fun of Christine. Uppity. <laughs> anyway, I Spoiler would run alert. home through the snow. And uh, with wet clothes, and I barely, I barely freeze to death. And one time, a car pulled over as I'm running home. He said, what are you doing, dude? And I go, oh, I'm running home. And he goes, dude, I'll give you a ride. Hop in, man. Oh, no. Oh, this boy. isn't a date. It was yeah, kind of was, man. <laughs> no. It's his fucking so, story, though. So the it's guy, a you're, you're like, story. Sure, you're like so, sure, Father Murphy. I'll so the, the guy car is, guy's a couple years older than me. I'm, I don't know, 18 years old. He's like 22. As uh, we drive home for the five minutes to get me home, he says, I'm uh, at Fort Devens, the base over here. I'm a Marine. Uh, well, what the fuck are you running with your wet clothes uh, from uh, that restaurant over there? Uh, and he goes, hey, here's my number if you ever want to grab a beer. I'm like, hey, coolest dude ever, man. Drove me fucking home. Yeah. Uh, he calls me three days later. Uh, by the way, this is the uh, pre cell phone. It's the answering phone uh, that yeah. uh, the house your connected. Mom's to house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I go, hey, I'm I'm busy, uh, Chris. Uh, I can't uh, can't go out today. He goes, hey, man, next week let's go grab some beers. So uh, a week later, uh, the phone rings. Hey, it's uh, Sunday, dude. Let's go get some beers. I'll pick you up. Hey, I'm 18. I'm fucking game. Let's do it, dude. Yeah. So uh, he picks me up. Says, uh, man, we let's get some girls. And I go. Yeah, let's get fucking laid. Let me uh, let me plow some ass, and I'm talking. I'm like I'm talking it up, sure. man. Yeah. And so we. He <laughs> goes, but first, let's stop at my apartment. Oh. Ooh. And this is where the connection with my girlfriend's story comes in. Blurred lines. So uh, we drive over to his place. Yeah, play that. It was very romantic. <clears throat> and uh, so I get into his place and I go, hey, so w- w- when we, uh, he goes, here's a beer, dude. He cracks like a Bud Light for me. Mm-hmm. And he goes, uh, yeah, here, sit down on the couch. And I go, yeah, cool. He goes, um, I go, hey, uh, w- where are we going? We got to uh, go to a party or something? And he goes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, hey, you like a porn? I'm like, hey, by the way, this is pre uh a porn hub, uh, you uh, porn, all that shit. It's magazines that we'd find in the woods that we'd beat <laughs> off. To. So um, I sit down on the couch and uh, he puts on a porn and it's uh, two dudes blowing each other. Hey now. Now this is a Marine. Yeah. So I owe him a blowjob for a service. He just got yeah, out of Iraq. Yeah, exactly. No, no, I'm just kidding. Exactly. But I'm sitting there and I am like, holy fuck. Holy fuck. I'm starting to do the math. I, I, dead. I don't know. But I uh, I go, hey, do you got a phone here, dude? Because I'm going to invite a bunch of dudes and chicks over here. And I call uh, my friend Courtney. And I'm like, hey, come on over here. Let's party. I lie to her. I tell her there's like a bunch of coke and a bunch of ecstasy and drugs. And so she's over there in like five minutes. And she walks in. She brought another chick named Rebecca. And they walk in and they see a crazy Marine dude uh, there watching gay porn. Me sitting there. 
And then we go, hey, well, we had a great time. And uh, so uh, we're going to go. And then we uh, hopped in their car, not the gay Marine dude, and we got the fuck out of there. But he could have uh, killed he me. He could have killed you. He could have. Oh, yeah. He was, he was going to rape, he was gonna rape he you and kill you. He could have done anything sure. to you. So mm-hmm. when my girlfriend told me this story and I really thought, I was kind of like, did she blow this dude? I was like, no, nah, because I remember being there. You were, that's the moral of the story. You were her. <laughs> I was her you 20 her. years you ago. You were her. Yeah. Couldn't get out faster. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There was Wait, no lobster you... medallions. It was just gay porn there, and Bud Light. There was no party yeah. and girls and kegs of beer and having a good time on a Sunday. There was just a gay dude with two other gay dudes on the I screen. I had my first beer. <laughs> Beaten off. <laughs> Pounding some ass. And, yeah. and you picked up. It was like right away you knew you should get out of there. I wanted to get out of there because uh, Jeffrey Dahmer, four years later, killed people. Yeah. This yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. So anyway. This could have been you. Chris, this is why people always email and say, you guys should stop calling this a comedy podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's very uplifting. Because I am crying right now. Yeah. All right. Well, Christine, get ready to cry more. Okay. All right. Because. Uppity Christine. <laughs> We if you ever have a drink with this? Uppity Christine, hey, stop. you got the palate of a hipster queen, oh yeah. Uppity, Uppity Christine. Christine. Love the sound. She won't touch two buck chuck in a glass. It's only $40 vino for her privileged white ass. That's right. Uppity, Uppity Christine. Christine. Wow. Okay, now. Crowd loves it. They do. No. Uh, the audience is probably wondering where we're going with this. Now, Christine. You and I, we, we hang out with uh, we your do. boyfriend, producer, Lewis. By the way, he did backing vocals on Calling You Up to Christine. Just say <laughs> so you know. He knows Fiance well. Lewis. <laughs> yes. Poor guy. Uh, no, not boyfriend. The, we've, we've hung out. We've gone at some shows lately, and I've offered you some wine. And <laughs> you have made fun of me and said you will not drink certain wines. I don't think I made fun. For our viewers at home, <coughs> our listeners at home, you have to understand he, he pulls out a bottle that's called like Grapes of Wrath. And it just, <laughs> it just reeks of like two ninety nine wine. And I'm already, I, I've already had enough and I just don't want to go backwards. You know when you don't want to go backwards with your drinking? No, you go hold forward. on now. That's not what this is about. What you is think this? you're better than some of that wine that we brought. <laughs> you I think she. On. I think she's better than some of that wine I you brought. I hope I'm better than some of that wine you brought. So what we're going to do now is Uppity Christine uh, has a palate that is, she believes, is a little bit more uh, it's mature. It's been exposed okay. to certain things in life. Yes. Okay, so <laughs> Let's we, we are going to expose yes. you well, to, well um, we're going to expose you to four different wine samples. Four, okay. Ooh. Now one is four dollars. Mm-hmm. One is 10, mm-hmm. one is 20, mm-hmm. and one is 35. I went big tonight. Okay. Ooh. And now are these all the same? Uh, like they're all red? They are, they are all Cabernet Sauvignon? I'm glad you asked. Or is there a mix? Oh. These are Pinot Noir, red wine. Uh, women don't like red wine, I've heard, because it, uh, they don't like the sugar content or uh, the red makes your teeth <coughs> red or I something. I believe it's the, the tannins. I didn't realize we were doing the tasting room this evening. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, Christine, are you willing? To, are you up to the challenge to see if we can? I uh, love it. Thanks for the. This is awesome. Okay, it's can like I, your spotlight um, dance. Uh, Mikey, like do you mind some, ball. some kind of like fun jazz Cons- music to for Christine to talk about? Uh, we have a glass of water so she can clear cleanse her palate. cleanse yes. her palate. Okay. Is someone else going to do the tasting with me? We'll do that Ooh. after, but we want to get your take first, and then right. we'll see. Let's do this, guys. I want to. Um, it would be kind of fun to find someone that doesn't know a lot about wine to see if they could beat you, kind of like a monkey picking who's going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> By the way, I don't know a lot of, about octopus. wine. I just know what I like, and I worked in a restaurant where there was an extensive wine list and selection. Oh, so, but other than that, I don't know all about it. Go, dear. I don't know all about it. <laughs> I'm not uh, all about I'm it. I'm not being uppity. Oh, okay. I just know more than you do. Okay, so Christine, you know we that? have sample one, and I want you to talk about it, okay? Oh, I'll talk about what it. What I'm doing is I'm handing Christine. There we go. Play that music. Christine, I want you to spend a little time talking about what's going on in your mouth. There you go. <laughs> well, I do have to I say. I bet it's I'm, a party. If you, I'm impressed that it's in glass because mm-hmm. I was expecting plastic. Uh, it's not a wine glass per se, but it is a decent cocktail glass. Are you? What are you doing now? You're stirring the vespers. I'm just, I'm just uh, swirling it around the glass, and I'm gonna give it a sniff. How do you feel about the tape? I think they call them legs, right? When yeah, the, the they call them legs. Yep. There you go, snobby. And and may I ask, have the have these been open for like 15 minutes? Nope. So they've been breathing. They've been, just... uh, actually, they did do that. We read it online. To, 
don't worry. You, you, you asked me to. You're in good shape. Okay, right. I'm going to try yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. See what we're talking about, people? So wait, what are Can you imagine so, going on with this chick? What, a, what, are, what are the price points again? Uh, 5, 10, 20, and 35. Okay. I'll sip the other side. I'll play. And this is a Pinot. It tastes like a cab. Pinot Noir. You can trust me on that, Christine. How do you feel about that? It's all right. Oh, no, no, no. So what's the price point? It's a little acidic. It's, 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 it's a little acidic on my palate. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. It has an acidic aftertaste. <laughs> but it's not bad. I'm uh, just warming up to it. Really? All right. So how much would you pay for that? <laughs> Jesus I don't know. fucking Christ. I think what was I, the price point on the... This, hum- this is the cheap one. I'll tell you that. Chris? I felt like I just Chris? got bit in the back of my throat by a crocodile. Can someone write down what Chris is saying? <laughs> Chris please. All right, so so Christine. Shit. Oh, so Christine, please tell me what. Well, you... I feel I feel like maybe this is like a um, like a six ninety nine Trader Joe's. Six ninety nine. And I I think it's easier if I tr- yeah. I, think, I, I'm just... I feel that it might be a little bit more fair if they try them all. Yeah, and I want to try them all and then. To... Yeah, I want to get the immediate reaction though. I'm just a little acidic in the aftertaste. Yeah, I'd say that. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's the cheapest one of the bunch. All right, so, but you're going to keep hold of Chris, and I'll, uh, Kane will keep hold of Chris, I'll keep hold of Christine. I'm watching you, Chris. Okay. Uh, okay. So, uh, how much for this, how much do you think this wine costs? Well, I'm not really a Pinot drinker, I'm more of a cab, but oh, I would there you say, go. I said it's like a six, it feels like a six ninety seven ninety nine Trader Joe's uh, blend. All right. Pinot blend. It's, oh, okay. it, it's the cheapest of the price points, the 5 10 15 20 that was definitely five bucks. All right, well, let's uh, move on to the next sample. Um, is this number two? I'm taking one for, for the team here. My All stomach's right, on the edge. I, I had a shot of fireball last night. I haven't recovered from it. All right, let's move on to the next sampler. Have you cleansed your palate, Christine? Yeah, Christy? I did. I did. All right, okay. let's do this. It's uh, it's uh, w- 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 same color. Visually, and let's do this. Visually, what do what do you think about it? Is it that, looks about um, the same. It's a piece of glass with a piece of tape on it. A blue piece of electrical <laughs> tape. All right, talk about. I wouldn't what describe taste. it as inviting. Christine, what's it taste like? <clears throat> oh, that's a little uh, that's a little oakier and smoother. Oak here, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. It's a little flatter, if you will. God, I hope this is the three ninety nine. I think this is this is definitely more expensive than the first one. I I, I would think. Are you hide those? This, I, this one has Sarah, a better. Do not let her see those bottles. Th- this one already has a better bouquet. I just want to go on record as saying that. I uh. Mm. I'm sticking my nose in there, letting it breathe. Mikey, you smoke a lot of weed. Do you want to try? No. Okay. So what do you say? What's this bottle worth, Chris? Um, it's definitely not the five. This could be. There's, there's no five. It's three ninety nine. Do the numbers again. Three ninety nine, ten dollars, twenty, and thirty five. You already said the number. One. This is the twenty. The first one was the three ninety nine. This this baby's the twenty. You would pay twenty dollars for that. I'm, I think I have paid twenty dollars for this before. All right, but you yeah. write that down, Kane. Got it. All right, wh- where do you sit on this, Christine? Well, without tr- trying the other two bo- tastes, I can't really decide what price point this is at. But I would say that, like, if the first one was maybe, uh, what did I say, six or cheaper, th- this is maybe the ten. I, I don't know. I'll-, I'll give you a final answer, but can you just leave that one there? Of course. Yeah. Leave the good one there. All right. So, okay. Christine, I need an answer. Uh, I'm, for now, I'm saying ten, but I don't know. The next ten. one I taste maybe worse. Yeah. And, well, well and we're, we're making it up as we go along. We can. We, we have well, the right to backtrack. Know, uh, no, I should, we should try all four, and then I can tell you which is which. All right. I mean, I don't know. All right. I'm gonna allow oh. this. All right, Christine, so you're trying. Like smoke. You're trying uh, drink three here. Uh, how's it hit the palate? You like that? God, I hope that's the cheapest one. You know I'm dreaming of that. (laughs) Mikey, will you play something more fun for all of us to have a good time? Jesus Christ. A warm cherry Mikey loves music. He loves music. This one has a heavier body. I can can smell it already. Uh, uh, It's buoyant. It is. It wouldn't sink. I'll tell you that. (laughs) Uh, What do you think? Does it have legs, Chris? That's a nice finish. It has a nice finish. It does have a nice finish. Yeah. Um, so Smith. I've already. I'd see. I've I've gone. I've gone three ninety nine, and I've gone twenty. Mm-hmm. Um. And what are the other price points again, please? Uh. Well, there's uh four. Yes, four. Ten. Uh. Twenty and thirty five. Uh, I almost want to switch. I almost want to say this is the ten dollar. You don't get to do. That. Okay. Well, then yes, this we is. Do. We this need is. To try all four. Then this is the twenty. Christine, my, but what would you say 20. off? What would I you said twenty. So this s- is a ten. I'll go with Christine. The 10. What would you say? Uh, this is. 
How much? How much for that bottle? I don't really have a pellet. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. Well, come on, Christine. We 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 need an answer. I don't know. 15, 20 bucks. Twenty bucks. Okay, that's your answer. Yes. All right. Let's bring in the final one. Let's do it. Um, final glass. Now, remember, this is uppity Christine. She had a lot to say at the Hollywood Bowl the other week uh, when I yeah. handed a... Uh, I six- just didn't want your grapes of wrath. Let's uh, let's bring up what you kids were doing at the Hollywood Bowl. What uh, what show uh, were you guys well, seeing? We enjoying a concert. No, man. what what concert? What was this? The, was this a sing along of sorts? Was a, yes, was it, it was. Was this a, some fruity sing along oh, at, at the Hollywood Bowl? I think we Greece. were seeing Chris yeah? Chris Bo. Bo- Chris Body. Chris Body. Was it Chris Body or, or was it the Grease sing along? Uh, probably both. That's fucking fruity. The wine that did not get drunk at uh, Chris Isaac <laughs> got brought to the sing along and also uh, being, uh, remained full. All right. Yes. So, uh, oh. Christine, this is this is drink four. You seem to be unhappy with what you're tasting. Your eyes are sending messages to me. Um, so you don't like this, right? This is probably the most expensive one. Well, what do you think, Christine? Now you, uh, please. Uh, once again, I I have I don't know what the answer is. And don't, are, and don't bogart but I, it. But I it hope, over. I hope this is the five. This one is so complex. There's so much going on. There's like a burst of. Uh, Please ad- let this be Behringer. <laughs> Please, for the love of God, you know let this is? be Seven Eleven. She's filibustering. She's being up. No, this is right now. I gotta keep going back for more. There's uh, yeah. like hints of it's like a, oh, a cornucopia. It's so complex, like all the vespers and the. It's just uh, like all the the. What do you call them, Chris? The. Uh, the notes. The notes. I don't know. They're they're just the blasting. You got off. the you got the wrong guy. Our, our other our other friend knows a lot more. He knows a lot more about wine than I do. Christina, <laughs> Christina, I need an answer, please. <laughs> oh. Well, you forced. You me weren't invited to this, Chris. You forced God me to damn make right. I would have said no. What do I have left on the price point? I mean, well, you said six ninety nine. Uh, 10, 20, you're missing the 35. Was that a 35 fucking dollar bottle of wine uh, you just drank right there? Bo- I think there? I think maybe I would switch out. That's the 20 and number three was the no. 35. Well, I mean, how can I know if I haven't tasted them all? You've tasted them all. That's not the most expensive one. I'll yeah, tell you, whatever that expensive. one, that's probably, number four is probably the $10 one, but I'm going to have to, I've already used up all my lifelines, so it's the most expensive one. Kill the music, kill the music. I want to talk to you. All right, so you have all four in front of you. That one was thin. It was Christine, weak. you've had a sampling. Mm-hmm. I need you to very quickly take a sip of each one. That one tasted like and trout. And I want, I want after you do Make it, I want you to it. tell me which ones are which. Okay. I'm not drinking Be number one again. Number one is definitely the cheapest. I can't drink number one either. Yeah, no, that's right. the three ninety nine. It's so hard to tell. At this yeah, point. but like, but you keep track of him. I'll keep. All right, so Christine, you, one, two, three, or four. Which one? One, two, three. Which one's the best? It's between two and three. It is between two and three. It's I between agree. Between two and three. I'm going to be uppity right with you. It is between two and three. I need an answer. Can you is imagine it? listening to this? <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on. All right. <clears throat> I don't know anymore. I'm going to say uh, two, number two is the most expensive. Two or three. It's two or three. All right. Which I need an answer. Two. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so one. So my it answer is one was the cheapest. Four was the was the next to least expensive. That would be the 10. Let me have two and three again, please, Christine. This can be so fun for the listeners. It is. great. All right. You got your <laughs> work cut out for you making this one fun. All right. So, Christine, what do you have? What are you asking me? I don't um, understand. I need number, number three is the next to most expensive. Number two is the most That's expensive. That's right. I did one, four, three, and two. So did I. We right. both agree. You need to change the name of this game to Uppity Chris. One, four, two, and three. One, four, three, and, and two. Two, yes. two is the most expensive. What, yes. Knock the has the same thing. One, knock the nooch. All right, so the first one was number one. Yes. Uh, number four was number two, and number two was number three, and number four. No, number three was... All right, so... Christine. Tell us what the answers yes. are. Well, let's get, do get it. To it. Enlighten us. Can, Enlighten can we, us. Can get we, those bottles some... out. Bring them up. Let's bring them up. Let's start with, uh... let's start with number one. So, Christine. One I described it Christine, as acidic. Christine, you, did, you said number one was number one. I said number one was the acidic shittiest. and the yeah. worst she tasting. Said one no, no, no. you said number one was number one. No, I said number no. one is number two. I said I go, it goes from lowest to highest. One, four, three, two. I have you at your back here. Okay. You do? Okay. So it's two. So, but I have it right here. So you said number one 
was, was the worst. Oh, okay. All right. So bring out number one. That wow. Menage a trois. It's not bad. It's about eight ninety nine. Uh, you can get it for eight ninety nine at Trader Joe's. But yeah, you got that. Uh, that was terrible. I've had Menage a trois before. It's not bad in a. We're not. We're talking about wine. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on. So you said that was the worst. Yeah. But I, but I've had that before, and I wouldn't say it's the worst. <laughs> seeing the label, but yeah, I said it was the worst tasting. All right. Well, so you were wrong. Yeah, I was. All right. Well, Chris, where did Chris sit on that? I said I, we, agreed. we we agreed. agreed. We have the same yeah, answers. So exactly. we yeah. have the same answers. All yeah. Right. So you can shame both of us. Really? Yeah, but I never. Okay. Uh, mm. Now you now you said number four was also bad, right? Pretty no, I didn't much. say it was bad. Number I said there was, was a cornucopia. The there was a lot of stuff going Meaning on. It was their second pick. Their second pick. Right. Second lowest. Second lowest. That was Woodbridge. That Ooh. was three ninety nine. Wow. Yeah. That close. Wow. That close All right. We knew uh, something. Man, that's that's bad news for Menage a Trois. Oof. Attention, All listener. Right. Attention, advertisers. So they, so they actually zeroed in on the crap. At least that one was bad. Right? Yeah. Their second. Ba- All right. So we second we worst. know that the second worst. Okay. You're fucking out. So second. <laughs> Maybe so the Menage a Trois. Let's turn. narrow it down to the number two because I want to see the one that costs thirty four dollars. And I'm gonna drink that shit. Okay. Number two. That was okay. So let's bring in there. The next one's the number three. We thought was the third best. The third best. All right. So it's bring number in that. Three. That was your beloved naked, na- oh, naked grape. Damn it! I should have had oh, some wow. the other night. How much? <laughs> was, how much was that? Screw you. What's the price point? Seventeen ninety nine. That's seven ninety nine. No, there is no one in front of that seven. Oh, Pat. Seven okay. ninety. No, it's, there's no one in there that says seven ninety nine. And okay. the, pr- the price points were off. All right. I don't know. I, but by the way, all of these you guys are did choose. All of these the are pretty bad. Most expensive wine. You chose the most expensive <gasps> we did, wine. We did. That's right. Ooh, ooh. Oh, this away. cost thirty two dollars. Because that's my jam. La I, I oh my god, the is so good. It's I brought so that to a, I brought that to a Beverly Hills party. Crema. One of the Beverly Hills so parties, actually, and everybody drank that shit I mean, right away. Sh- Both of you picked the number one wine. We have two winners. There we go. Well, Plus the grub who Maybe, yes. maybe you uh, like. Can you play some cheers, Mike? Maybe you guys deserve your title. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. there we go. Well played, Christine. Very uppity. Yeah. Very well. Um, who wants some Le Crema? It's okay. I'm, I'm good. I, man, I, I have to say, I I'm surprised by the Menage a Trois. I've me had too. many a, um, a store clerk tell me, oh, that's good for, you know, an $8 to $10 yeah. bottle of no. wine with spaghetti. And it just, it was so acidic. Ooh. All right, yeah. let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Congratulations. You're all by winners the way, here. Yeah, winners. Winners. Th- th- thank you. Winners. Thank you. All right, now we're going to play a new segment. Mm. Um, you guys uh, ever hear of Dear Abby, that old broad that's dead? Oh, yeah. And her, uh, she's Petite got like, like a this. daughter. Yeah, she's got a daughter. That like tries to give relationship advice. I'm better than her. I like to think the Dude Show Network. We can help these people. We can to reach out to them and make people's lives a little better. Sure. So let's try. Dear Petty, I'm 29 years old. Hello. Man. I'm a man with a criminal record. I get involved with some fraud shit, embezzled some money, rings, you know that kind of deal in my 20s, and served some time, nine months to be rings. exact. Since I've moved in with my mother, I found a job. I'm trying to be the man that I should be. I'm capable of being that guy. I've reached the point where I have begun dating. Problem is, I don't know where to begin with these broads. If I wait too long to tell them what I've done, maybe they'll find it out later. And then what will I do? Can you help me? Help me be a better man in New York. Okay, kill the music. What will they find out later? Well, I know what to do. That he had a criminal past. Oh, oh, got it. I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't put the two together. He uh, com- committed fraud. I yeah. was like, oh, that's just you. He's, he's involved that's in rings. Okay. <laughs> things, he, works things were at, he works at Robin's Brothers. He, he's in the ring ring. He went to Jerry. Yeah, exactly. Right. Dear Better Man in New York, here's Patty's advice. Date fat chicks. They have low self-esteem. <laughs> and they'll lend you a credit card. They, they will, actually. Fat chicks, notoriously, will give you their credit cards. Uh, so you don't have to change who you are. And because their self-esteem is so low, they won't report it to the police. So uh, <laughs> get, get, get back to it. All right. Uh, Chris, do you agree with me? Was that good advice? Was that a fart? <laughs> I think it was. Sure, why not? Do what he's got to do. I mean, he's, he's a felon. His pickings are going to be slim. He's got to find some girl. You know, put a Craigslist ad. Hey, hey, baby. 
Have you ever written a letter to a man in prison? I got good news for you. <laughs> Save your letters <laughs> and hit me up on the web because right. I'm not in prison. I'm out. I'm, I'm out, baby. I'm out. <laughs> we can make this happen. I can make your ex-con fantasies come true. Yeah, Lifetime. Like you don't necessarily have to. I mean, fraud's not a bad thing. I mean, it's a bad thing, but at the same time, you don't have to go <laughs> door to door saying that you're uh, committed fraud. Especially you don't, you don't have to youth. register. Especially in your if youth. You're frauding. Defra- really? Defrauding the public. I dated a guy who, who rode around on a Vespa uh, robbing uh, the, the hills of Tustin uh, rings and, and uh, you know, valuables. And, and he ended up being a really great guy and runs a company. And he's actually an entrepreneur. <laughs> sure, but that's, that's staying in. We're not cutting this out. You're, <laughs> you're fingering some guy who used to <laughs> rob houses in Tustin. <laughs> and that's, staying, no, he, that's making the cut. He went to jail for it. Uh, he went to jail as a minor. All right, yeah. fine. So did I help this person or not? <laughs> I think the wine's gotten to you, uppity Christine. All right. I think I helped this person. I think, right, actually, Kane? I think I helped the person. Yeah, you helped them. Yeah. All right. But I, we I just want to... Oh. Sorry, we got to move on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please. Dear Patty, I've been in a one-year relationship <laughs> with a wonderful man who is divorced with two children. The kids and I get along great, or at least I thought. Turns out they're making up lies about me and telling their mother. My boyfriend and his ex have a strained relationship and fight about it every day. I love his children, but I don't know how to handle this. What do you think? Telling the truth in Duluth. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Pat, when did you write this? What rhymes? What city rhymes with truth? What are you implying? I like to help people. You, you do help people. <laughs> this is what you do. Truth and Duluth. I really like this segment, by the this way. You do. I just want to throw it out there. I'm Me a too. fan. You get, you get those two fucking kids along. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I don't know how old they are, but you whisper in there and you go, you little fucktarts. <laughs> Dad's not around. You talk any more shit about me. I'll fucking shit in your fucking, fucking clothes. <laughs> <laughs> also, I'll tell your father. I saw you giving gang member a blowjob that was black <laughs> you want that shit shit storm then shut the fuck up pat's uh, pat's uh, step parent advice is taken straight from the uh the uh, peter weller movie first born oh, yes. the, the bad Hello. stepdad i'd also tell him they're adopted oh god yeah, yeah. you're all you're all Watch horrible your people your all right so uh play the music again <clears throat> So, Christine, how would you handle this situation? Uh, we got a stepmother who was not getting along with stepkids, or she thought it was great, but it wasn't working out. They were lying, talking to the stepmother, saying she beats me, slap. I don't know what she was saying. What do you do? Well, I, there was, there's, she's, I would try to maybe be cool, stepmom. You know, hey, mm. let's go shopping, or no, like, you can tell you. me everything. And then when that doesn't work, then then I would say, you know what, you're adopted, or I'd start going hardcore on them and and saying threatening things. Their their clothes would go missing, and there'd be selfies of me wearing them, you know, on my social media, things like that, just to harass them. I like what you're doing, yeah. Oh. Me too. This is good, really yeah. good. You wouldn't shit on their. Stuff. I wouldn't shit on their. Sh- I maybe in a <laughs> in shoe. their clothes. Maybe in a shoe. In their clothes. Chris, how about you? You um, shit anywhere? No, I wasn't listening. I, I thought you and Christine were going to handle this one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kane, how about you? Uh, you, uh, you actually <laughs> maybe have had this. You actually have a kid, right? I do. Yeah. What do you think? You want to uh, ever? Uh, I, w- I will say this: uh, threats, when accompanied by, uh, you know, you got to make the face scare them, and then maybe you even the nape of the neck. Just a little grab. Just two hands or No, it's a one, one hand and the face to face. Like, if you don't fucking straighten out, you're dead. <laughs> I am scared of you scaring at me right, right. now. You have to see the piercing eyes that Kane has oh, in I've seen And that, uh, yeah. that shit works. God, I'm terrified. The end. If you were my dad, the fear of death probably would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. Well, let's move on. Are you ready to shine, darling? <laughs> Are you ready to shine? Hey, like a diamond. Hit it, Mikey! It's time for the Dude Show News Show. Prepare to be informed, because our news girl is down for almost anything. Keep that. Except anal. They never are. Now let's give it over to... Christine. Come on, Christine. What do you got? 
Well, a toothless man allegedly gummed his roommate <laughs> because he wouldn't clean his ear. A, a nearly toothless man in Lakewood, Washington, was charged with assault and criminal mischief after nearly. allegedly gumming the wrist of his roommate Ooh. because she would not clean his ear for him. Kenneth Chambers, 52, ooh, also allegedly choked and poured water on the roommate. Police say Chambers confessed to biting his roommate but said he was acting in self-defense. He also allegedly stated he couldn't have hurt her because of his lack of teeth. Um, you don't necessarily need a lot of teeth to seriously injure someone with a bite. However, in September Just of one. last year, a man in England with only a couple of teeth was found guilty of biting off his neighbor's privates. I think if you have only a couple of teeth and you bite, I think that's actually more dangerous. More because, dangerous. Because those teeth are probably diseased and full of like, bacteria and right. whatnot. So it's actually, it's like being bit by like one of those, what are they called? Fucking Komodo dragons Ferret? or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, they're full of fucking bacteria. Black mouth. Yeah, ex exactly. It is. It's a Komodo problem. dragon situation. Yes. Totally. Thank you. Now, you guys are missing the key point of this story. We are? Okay. Which, yeah, Enlighten us. Which is people that don't have teeth are still having roommates. That's yep. what I'm thinking. <laughs> yes. That's true. <laughs> they're, they're, they're getting together, though. It's, it's yeah. all about like one. I got. The, but what's wrong with the other one? They didn't say, but if if you're living with someone who's 52 and is missing most of their teeth, yeah, there's something wrong what else are you guys doing? What crack are you doing? Well, my rule is... What went wrong? If you have a roommate and you're 32, you do, you're a loser. You're a loser! You are. Oh, oh, if you... <laughs> <laughs> teeth or not 52 yeah he's 52 yeah. even more so Your roommates are for kids man yeah. roommates. times are tough out there man His times roommate. are tough our, I know our but... landlord actually recently said that if the, any male over a certain age who had a roommate that there would, might be something wrong with them <laughs> Lewis was shocked shocked I agree with him <laughs> We know a few people that fit that bill, dear. <laughs> well, let me tell me if you guys know anyone who fits this bill. An Australian man has had to uh, had to remortgage his home to pay for a second penis extension surgery oh. after his first surgery not only failed but actually it made him smaller. Oh. New, oh. News reports stated that the man in Australia has a micro penis which is oh. less than seven centimeters long when erect. I, Ew! I've seen that penis. Can I hold oh on? Oh my god, it's like a Christmas light. <clears throat> The president of my like? middle, the eighth grade, his name was Mike Collier. I'm sorry, Mike. His penis looked like a, um, it looked like a booger. It felt like a kernel, <laughs> uh, like a corn kernel. It felt when like I a kernel? Did when you felt, touch this? Well, like no, when but I saw it in the shower, I was embarrassed with him. This thing was the size of a, when you uh, hit a gumball machine, and, but the small ones, not the big one, even if it was a big one, this penis was so small. And he ended up marrying one of the snobbier girls in my grade, Amy DeBettencourt. She was at the high school reunion, by the way. They have two kids. Apparently, <gasps> this penis is able to <laughs> <How laughs> produce. Her. Well, you know, the, the man did say that he suffered depression and low self-esteem. He was unable to take showers no in high shit. school, in the wow. gym room, play any of the sports because he, he was nervous about that. But his first surgery cost 45000 and it involved lengthening and widening. How big? But, it re but the no, grafting it didn't, didn't collapsed. Take. It didn't take. Uh. So he said um, that it's difficult separating legitimate skilled surgeons from doctors claiming expertise. There's like a big fraudulent field in the pe in penile surgery. Can it, I say something? Yeah. I don't think my penis satisfies my girlfriend. <laughs> she she <laughs> Back does to you. No, she does not. Fuck have, me, right? Yeah. She does not have an or orgasm while we have sex. Is that a problem? Do you, what do you think? Oh God. Can't do this. Tonight. Well, that's not the I, penis. I, that's uh, about uh, you know other stimulation, clitoral stimulation. That's not necessarily penal vaginal sex for climax. Yeah, is not, that right? Not all chicks come vaginally, dude. <laughs> so it's not. Kane has spoken. <laughs> You're lucky to run into a few mm -hmm. in a lifetime yeah. of hundreds. Well, You're lucky to run into a can few. I, can I say this? It's a double-edged sword, though, yeah. because on the one, I don't have to wait around for her going, "Hey, I am five minutes away from coming," because that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get it going both at the same time, baby. What do you mean? You bring a little something yeah, extra yeah. into little, the picture. I, a little, 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 little I power have, tool. A little, little, little I, don't mean a yeah. I got a box right. full of vibrators in that <laughs> other that spare goddamn bedroom, man. That 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 has not helped her at all, <laughs> at all. No, we never say. Her. Try kissing. She's not that horny. Try kissing. I love kissing. Okay. I need I, a, a kiss to have an orgasm. <laughs> Can we isolate that place? I'm sorry, Can we Christine. Uh, what's the, what's, what, yeah. I'm sorry, the rest of the story? Di digress. So well, what? that was it. His second surgery is going to be 50000 so he's having to oh, well, uh, well more. I hope it works out for him. I would like to say this about that story. You should check when your doctor uses transvaginal mesh to uh, 
enlarge your penis, you may have picked the wrong doctor. Wrong it doctor. Might be, it might, be, if you got it might him, be a bad sign. If you got him out of the back of LA Weekly, it yes. might be the wrong doctor. His Don't name do is it. Dr. Nick. 50 you grand? I want an eight, <laughs> uh, eight inch cock. For fifty grand, you better be John Holmes. If you're spending yeah. that kind of yeah, dough, yeah, eight inch. What? Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> fifty grand, <laughs> fucking <laughs> juice. <laughs> it's just fucking gonna be drink. fucking ridiculous. All of a sudden, he spent ninety five. I actually want a thicker one. I have a very. Sk- I'm Irish. I'm very skinny. <laughs> you want a beer can? Uh, yeah. All right. What else you got? I can feel well, it all the way down in my plums. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Not, well, not in the shaft. Speaking of horny, police in New Orleans suburbs say that a health food store worker has been accused of using a $200 company check to pay for a prostitute yes. while working and in the back room. Um, it all came to light when the store's manager reviewed surveillance footage after finding that a company check was missing. Employee Charles West, 24, was booked on charges of theft, forgery, and solicitation. Police say they plan to arrest the woman for prostitution. You are a smelly pirate hooker. Mm. Once they identify her. But what I'm... Can you use a check to pay for prostitution? And who writes a check anymore? Well, Jerry Springer did. That's an infamous dude. Kane, what are you going to say? I'm not going to say anything. That'll get you caught. Uh, yeah, we'll get Paper caught. Got to pay some cash. These broads, they show up. Uh, they show up, and they uh, they got a mission. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, what's the no, mission? No, I don't know what you to, mean. Uh, to to I, have I, sex and take take cash. Yeah, that is cash. The it's cash business. Yeah, it's it a is. cash business, it and is. then you don't you cash don't use a king. check, and the, much less your a work check, right? If you don't charge shit on well, your company. Well, that's called card. a third party check. Uh, Frank Zappa. <laughs> hey, you know what, Mikey? Find this song. It's called um, Frank Zappa. You, Kane, you know what I'm talking about? It's called Third Party Check. I think uh, Captain Beefheart uh, sang that goddamn song. Play that. I'll love you forever. All right. Uh, what we're doing that? What, what else you got? Well, I know you like to do down dog and all your yoga, but um, a woman has been arrested uh, doing strip yoga in the middle of the road. Uh, yeah. It's a great way to keep fit, but doing it nearly naked in the middle of the road is a bit of a stretch. That's how police in Florida saw Michelle Renee Sarnik, 51. I hate the cops. I know, right? Witnesses called police after they noticed this woman doing yoga in the afternoon just a few blocks from a middle school. But in between stretches, she was removing various bits of clothing and had her pant legs around her ankles by the time officers arrived according to police while she was doing the stretches in the middle of the road her gold chevy gmc pickup was on the side of the road still Sweet. running <laughs> officers searched the hot. vehicle and found heroin. Uh-huh. it all goes from there pipes all this stuff i always want to smell yoga pants you know what i mean <laughs> just get a whiff these people bend bending around, maybe not wipe their ass properly. I'm fascinated by this. Like people's ass. They're see through. You can see the brown eye. That was the whole thing with those uh, Lululemon. Lululemon pants. Yeah, but those chicks Hunter wear those see through. Uh, well, first off, let me he say this. My my old, dudes wear them too. My old lady, she she sits here and watches <laughs> and the goddamn podcast. Chris is disgusted. Yeah, I, no, but yeah, you know, getting a little whiff of ass. You know what I mean? Like uh, a little whiff of ass, no, especially I, when you're <laughs> paying to do yoga. Some dude well, I mean, burping in there. To with, rewind it to like you know dudes over thirty two having roommates, like dudes wearing fucking little lemon pants. You can throw that <laughs> right in that fucking that column. Problems. Well, I don't. I think people are so claim that do yoga. I, I don't think they really smell so much. They're all kind they of hoity. Do. They fart in there and they, they fucking. They do fart in there. I told you guys that when someone farted the last time. What happened? I told. I came here after. I was like still shocked by it. An old woman just let one go, and then we all had to pretend it didn't happen. What's it, what's that? What did it smell? like was it coffee grounds like what was the aroma of the room <laughs> it smelled like sink and fish cause you know because yeah, i know what the room smells like, like at a bar man. at 1 30 with a dude who he ordered the cheese uh plate or it smelled like insure <laughs> oh, <good laughs> did it it well smelled done. like carrot juice in portland and I, like clean socks i'll take that the i hops, will hops it's, that, it smelled uh, like a tuna sandwich on white bread i mean the like uh just you know, we all had to pretend nothing happened. Yeah. Mike, you got that song up for me, Aww. Frank Zappa. Oh, come on. Uh, well, what's the name of that goddamn? I'm I'm, I'm not gonna stop this till we hear this song. Uh, it's uh, Frank Zappa. I don't know. Third party check. Trying to buy some pussy with a third party check. I have no idea. It's uh, probably it's either Captain Beefheart or Zappa. It is Captain there. Beefheart. Yeah. Hold on, Mike. You looking it up, brother? Willie the Pimp. Play it. Do it, dude. Come on, play that song. That's it. Turn it up. Uh, Hold on. No, no, no. I want to talk about the song. I love it. I'm a little pimp with my hair gas bag. Can't hang your pants with my shoes on, yeah. 
Love this song, man. Chris, you know this? No. You never heard this? All right, keep playing. Turn it down. Pipe it down. Anyway. Hey, peeps. We enjoy you listening. Well, not that far down. I still love the beat there, Chris. We appreciate your listenership. We need your help. We need you to share this goddamn podcast. Right, Chris? Sure. Yes. Like, we need to turn this from, what, two people? Tens to twenties. We need to turn this into 30 people listening into... Christine, what do you think? Share it with a niece. Yeah, absolutely. We need to double Share it with your aunt. We need to double Share it with to your 20. mother. We need to double it to 20. I, I talk shit about my mother, and I said, my mom listened to every episode. And she goes, she even says, hey, I didn't like what you said about me in the last one. I was kind of mixed feelings about that. I was like, oh, the one where I said well, you're a horrible mother. And she goes, eh. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Kinda. Could have show could have been a little she's better. She's so bad she didn't even take a hit. On you know that. what she said? She said you talk too much on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mom. You like it's my show, mom. Ah, it's our show. Anyway, it's peeps, show. keep listening. Tune into another person. Hey, Mikey, I need you over here. Turn this goddamn music up while I'm trying to do the goddamn outro. Mikey's eating a pizza. Thank you, Kane. Thank you, Lewis, the producer. Thank you, Christine, the uppity Christine. La crema. Thank you, dear Mick Richie. Thank you, dear. We'll see you in the next podcast. Keep listening.